Hello, good day. Good day, everybody. Good day, everybody. My name is Emmanuel. Welcome to the... I don't know what video this is, but we're going to talk about subscripts today. So just create a new project and just jump right in. <laughs> okay. So subscripts are actually shortcuts that allow us to access or modify um, elements in a list, a sequence, or a collection. Okay. And if you've worked with arrays or dictionaries, then you definitely have an idea of how subscripts work. So first you specify the name of the array for working with an array. So something like names, and then we have square brackets like that. And then we pass in an index, right? And for a dictionary, we can pass in a key of, let's say, macro like that, right? So this is how subscripts work. And I'm going to use an example to give you sort of like a breakdown of how this thing is implemented. Okay, great. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to create a struct and I'm going to call mine classroom just like that. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is to create a constant. I'm just going to call this students and this is going to be an array of arrays. So we're trying to create um, like rows and columns. So different students at different rows and different columns, just like that. So the first row I'm going to use, I'm going to populate it with, um, I'm just going to use the names of some of my favorite cartoon characters. So first we have Eric, <laughs> Eric Cartman, Cartmenez, then uh, Peter Griffin. That's a good one. Uh, giggity giggity. I don't know if you know him. Quagmire. Awesome guy. And uh, let's say Randy Marsh. That's another cool guy. Nice. So all of these guys are in the first row. Okay. Now I'm going to add two more. Or well, let's make it three. Good. Now in the second row, I'm going to populate this with um, some footballers, some soccer players. Okay. So Messi, my main guy. Uh, let's say Ronaldo. Yep. And uh, let's say Ronaldinho. And um, who am I going to use here? Let's say Zavi. Cool. And here we're going to use, what should I use? Let's use musicians. So Trey Songs, my main guy. Usher, I love him. Um, who am I going to use? Let's use a female. Okay, Nicki, Nicki Minaj. And finally, I'm going to use Alicia. <laughs> Alicia Keys. Nice. And finally, let's just use some, some tech guys. So Mark, Bill, Elon, and Jeff Bezos. Good. So cool. We have an array that contains an array of students, right? And uh, these are rows like this. And then this are columns. Cool. So if I wanted to get the position of a student, what I would do is first of all, I have to create a an object, right, of this struct. So I'm gonna call this class. Oh, let's use single S, and then classroom like that. Now, if I wanted to get the student that's at row um uh, one, two. So row one, column two, zero, one, two is going to return Ronaldinho, right? So what I'm going to do here is say, um, class and I want to get one and then two. And also we can do this. So we're going to need to get from students just like this. Now, if I run this, we're going to see Ronaldinho printed right here. Okay. Now with subscripts, we can do things a little bit differently. So what we're going to do is right in here, we're going to write in the keyword subscript like that. And this is going to take in some arguments. You can actually pass whatever you want, but I'm just going to pass in row and, and column as integers. So here row, this is going to be an int and then column. And this is also going to be an int. Then the return type is going to be a string because I want to get the name of the student at that particular position. Okay. Awesome. So what we're going to do is say return and students. 
at row and finally column. And now what we can do is rather than specifying class and students like this, all I will do is say class and then in square brackets I simply need to pass in my row and column separated by a comma. So I want to get, let's use the same value, so 1 and 2. Now if we run this again, we're going to get Ronaldinho, just like that again. Now let's change it so you're sure everything works. Let's use um, 1 and 0 so we expect the, the real goat himself. Let's run this and Messi. Awesome. So you can see how easy things just became, right? Now, um, you can actually do more than just return the value at an index. You can perform some operations. You can do whatever you want to do. And also, you can modify, like I said, you can modify um, values at a particular index as well. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to create a get. What am I doing? Cool. And uh, I'm also going to specify a set. Now for the get, we're going to do the same thing, like that. And for the set, what I'm going to do is say students, and we're going to be modifying the row and column like this. And this is going to be equal to the new value, like that. And the new value is whatever you're going to pass in from um, this part right here. I hope that makes sense. Now, as you've guessed, if we're going to be changing this, we need to change this guy to a variable. And when that is done, we can come over here, convert this guy to a variable as well, and then I can say class, and let's modify um, 00, zero and change this guy to his full name. So Eric Cartman, like that. And if I run this, you're going to see it's going to print out Eric Cartman. And we can actually go ahead and print out the value at this particular index. So I'm going to type that here just so you can see that the value actually reflected. You can see Eric Cartman. So just like that, things are, it just makes things easy whenever you want to, you know, play around with um, lists or collection or whatever. So there's actually a lot of things you can do with subscripts. So feel free, play around with it and uh, just get comfortable and you're going to see different scenarios where this is going to make life very easy for you. Okay. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click on the subscribe button, turn on notification and see you guys in the next video.